Hey, what's going on, everybody? Coming at you with how it's designed. And in this SolidWorks tutorial, we're just going to do a light, short little video for beginners on basically just going over the basic planes on your SolidWorks interface when you're starting a sketch. So let's just get into it. Um, so when you first start a sketch, you're going to first be selecting which plane you're going to start it on. And if you look at the design tree right now, we got the front plane, top plane, and right plane. So if we turn these on, you'll see the orientation of them. So we can right click, hit this little eye icon, and they'll click on. So we got our grid set up. We have our coordinates. You can see the Y, Z, and X axis. Um, so you kind of want to be just strategic on which plane you first start sketching on. And then you got the origin intersecting all the planes. My recommendation is to choose a plane that has symmetry with your part and always start your sketch from the origin just to make things easier down the road. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on right click on one of the planes and hit the sketch symbol to start sketching. You can see now we're in sketch mode. We got the sketch tab up here with our sketch features and we can now start sketching if we want. And placing our lines and features like so. So everything happens when you're in the sketch mode and then you can exit the sketch and you'll see that that sketch we just made is represented on the top plane starting from the origin and the planes in SolidWorks are a very useful tool when you're starting any part so to also start a new plane, we can do plane selection here under reference geometry and we can reference the front plane if we want or any other plane. So then we can offset it at a distance or make it perpendicular or parallel. So let's just do a offset one and it'll create a new plane for us. So that's just the basics on your planes and the origin when starting a new sketch. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, how it's designed, and comment below what you would like to see next for more SolidWorks tutorials, and visit www.howitsdesigned.com. We'll see you next time.